I have come again on this wonderful platform, or should I say, channel. So uh, today's topic is dimension, and I have made videos on the concepts of dimension. If you see them on my shorts, you can also see them on my channel. So I'm leaving a link in the description so that you use the link to connect to other videos that I've made on dimension. Dimension, most especially the concept of what dimension. Now, in today's video, I want to show you how to solve the dimension of what electromotive force we get is simple. I'm going to break it down to the core so that when you understand it, you can solve it any way you wish to do or solve it. Trust me, I love steps by step. I love solving things precept upon precept, line upon line. You get so when you understand it, you can solve it the way you can adopt your own strategy of resolving any question in this. Okay. Now, let's continue. The dimension of a motive force is, I'm going to show you, on the screen you saw a question on this, eh? but I want, to, I want you to understand the concept first so that you can now click, or should I say, select the correct answer to this question. Did you understand? Don't forget, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So now, the dimension of electromotive force. First of all, what is electromotive force? That would be a video for another day. Right now, we are on what? Dimension. Do you get solution? Another name for electromotive force, or should I say the abbreviation is what? E-M-F. This is equals to what? Work done. Over what? Charge. Over charge. But before we continue, I want you to know that work done, work done is equal to force perpendicular what? Distance. Am I correct? Yes. Why charge is equal to what? I, that is current, times what? Time. Yeah? Now, again, I want you to know that the the symbol for charge, this charge, the symbol for charge is what? Q. Is what? Q. Of course, you know the symbol for work done is what? Of you. Did you understand that? So, from here, you can see that EMF is equal to what? W over Q. Hope you understand it now. Good. So, anywhere you see Q, you substitute it with what? The formula. Anywhere you see W, you substitute it to what in the formula. Do you get now? Good. So, EMF, apology if I repeat the question again, is for your own good. So, that you follow the steps. W over Q. So, EMF equals to F times D all over I times T. Uh, now, this EMF is a positive word. We know that force is what? Kg M S raised to minus 2. In case you don't understand this, if you are seeing this video for the first time, click. So that's why you need to subscribe. When you subscribe to my channel, you see the video I made on the dimension of force and how we obtain the units of force. So, times what? Distance is measured in words. Distance is measured in words. Meter, right? Good. M. All over what? I times T. So, E, M, F. On the numerator, we have KG. This time, this will give us what? M square. S is power minus 2. All over I times what? T. Do you get so now? So now, having established this, uh, what do we do? What do we do? Don't forget that time is measured in what? Seconds. So, E 
MF is equals to what? KG M square S raised to power minus 2 all over I times what? S. Do you get now? So now what do we do now? What do we do? So this equals to what? EMF KG M square S with power minus two minus one I with power minus one. No I know you have a question. Relax. I'm going to I'm going to dissect it. Eh? So this is equals to what? KG M square S minus one minus minus two minus one will give us minus three. But first of all, you will be, be confused on how I got how I converted this S to minus one. Because of what division law, that is why interest is very important in sciences. Before you um, go into physics calculations, you need to have in depth understanding in what indices question. You need to understand this very well. You get you need, you need a balanced perspective of what indices. Now the division law here. Yeah, I'm going to split this thing now. I'll explain it better after this now. So this is my Australia. Then I is power minus one. Now according to dimension, don't forget that dimension is the way in which physical quantities are related or associated to what fundamental world quantities. Now kg is what m. This is what l sphere, and this is what t is power minus three, and this is what i is power minus one. This is dimension of what the motive force. Okay, let me do something here for those of you that are confused on how I got to this stage. Huh? Now, from here, from this point, huh? this is what? Kg m square over i times s to the power minus 2 over s. Huh? Or to even make it better for you. To make it better for you to understand, uh, let me do it this way. Kg m squared over 1 times s plus power minus 2 over s times 1 over what? i. Because 1 times s will give us s. s times i will give us i times x. Do you understand now? Good. So this one becomes what? Kg m squared times s this power minus 2, division 4 now, because minus 1. Do you understand that? Times 1 over i, negative index law, which is what? i is power minus 1. Do you understand? So this is what? Kg m squared times s is power minus 3 times i is power what? minus 1. This is give, which will give you kg m square s is power minus 3, i is power minus 1. Have you seen that? We got the same thing with this one. Look at it now. Do you understand now? From here, we still have M low, L low sphere, T raised to power minus 3, I raised to power minus 1. Don't forget, I said something when I was making this video.